I had trouble practicing two, four, six, eight hours anyway. I went months without practicing. But this method gave me a doorway in. See, the reason I always didn't practice, I thought was, I was lazy. Now that would probably resonate with you. Yeah, I don't practice because I'm lazy. But it wasn't because I was lazy. It's because I was overwhelmed. And that will resonate with you. I didn't know where to start, what to practice first, how many things to practice, what would do any good, what would change my playing. So no matter what I practiced, it was like a drop in the bucket. Therefore, it didn't feel like it was helping. So in my impatience, I never really got that deep into anything I was practicing. Or in my case, I didn't practice. I kept meaning to practice all day, but something got in my way. I would wake up and say, okay, I'm going to practice. First, let me get a cup of coffee. I get the coffee, I notice the paper. Okay, I just look at, peek at the paper, see what the Yankees did. Uh, then I'm going to go practice. Then before you know it, and a half an hour's gone, I've been reading the paper. Well, I'll practice a little later, but first I got to make a phone call. You make that phone call. I got to go pay a bill, so you go out for the afternoon. Now it's late afternoon. Yeah, I'm going to practice now, right after another cup of coffee. And then you're in the evening. You say, well, let me just watch the news like we're so moved by the news. And now it's evening. I'm going to practice, but I'm going to, I was supposed to go out with my friends. I know what. I'll go out with them for a few hours, and I'll come home, and I'll practice into the night. And you get home late, and you're tired. And you don't feel like practicing. So what do you do? You say, geez, I didn't have time to practice today. I know what I'll do. I'll set the alarm and get up early so I have time to practice in the morning. You see the folly in that. And you could set your alarm and wake up early, but it was this conscious mind that was overwhelming you. And when you wake up early, your mind will be waiting there saying, hello, good morning, and will be with you. So that's one of the ways that the mind ruins the experience of practicing, is too much expectation, don't know where to start, don't know what would do any good, and the impatience, because you want to play much better by yesterday. The irony of it is, is that impatience itself is what makes for such a shallow practicing experience, which achieves nothing, which then circularly affirms the fact that you think subliminally you can't do this, or you're a failure, or this is not really happening, or some version of that. Of that. But you practice in a way to ensure that it would feel that way. So how do we get out of this storm of being overwhelmed, which could either delay us from practicing, keep us from practicing, or ruin our practice.